what do you hope to see with this translation? Um, what's what's your end game or your goal when it comes to the body of Christ or just in general? That's a great question. You know, I just I want it to be as clear as possible up front. You know, my goal in this is isn't like I said it. It's mostly to grow as a uh, student of the scriptures, and then whatever insights. Um, the Lord would dare to entrust to me in the midst of it just to make those available to others in a way that would strengthen them. Uh, my goal is not to uh, produce the one unique translation that is finally ending all debate as to what a good translation should be. And, and uh, I mean, that's just crazy, you know. And um, it's all, you know, well, that's one of the things we're privileged to have in English is so many translations. Um, and... Uh, also, it can be challenging. You know, people need to have discernment to know which ones are good, which ones aren't. And typically, um, uh, most most of our translations are committee based translations, and that has a lot of strengths to it. You know, different people on the committee they can balance each other's biases. Um, and uh, at the same time, there have been many examples where individuals uh, have a, attempted uh, uh, a translation. And sometimes they turn out really, really insightful. You know, you think of um, just uh, Darby, you know, and they, they have their own different translation approaches and and several others. You know, you read a Young's Literal. It's very, very literal translation in terms of trying to capture, carry the syntax from Greek over into English. And it's um, it, it can be a little wooden, but, you know, there are some people that would like to kind of dive into that that style of translation to get a feel for the structure more of Greek than of English, actually. They're two different kinds of languages. And so to assume one structure into the next leads to a lot of problems. But, uh, but, you know, there have been a number of individuals who have attempted translations and, you know, Tyndale, Wycliffe, you know, they got burned at the stake. I'm definitely hoping that doesn't happen. Uh, But in those situations, you know, it's obviously a little bit different, you know, than 21st century America where we've got all these different translations and and things like that. And uh, but um, there have been individual translations where 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 great where insight can be gleaned. Um, But obviously, even those guys, their goal isn't to try to have insight. And that's not that's the point is, is that the gospel itself um, is full of truth. Um, concerning the way we need to live our lives, concerning the way we need to relate to other people. And so the goal isn't to be the most unique. The goal isn't to have insight. The goal is not just to replace. The goal is to effectively communicate the gospel, really. And di- one thing that I've really been I've been struck by in the midst of this process is that each of the, the translations that we have today in, in English, a lot of them have real strengths and others... Uh, some, some have certain strengths in some areas and others have strengths in other areas. For example, um, the, the International Standard Version, it's a relatively newer version. I can't remember what year it came out, but they really have done a... Uh, they've, you can tell they've, they've made conscious efforts to try to integrate into the translation or to express uh, what Greek scholars would call verbal aspect. You know, whether process is, is portrayed as uh, uh, a snapshot event you know, they, they, it's not necessarily talking about just a one-time event or this. Or, it doesn't make much comment on the actual kind of action, but it's the way that the action is portrayed by the writer. Uh, uh, there's different kinds of a- verbal aspect, you know. And in English, you know, you have the present continuous. You have the present habitual, uh, you know, customary type of thing. There's all kinds of, you know, without going into the details of, of the grammar on that. But the point is that the the ISV has made a, a you can tell when you're reading their translation they've really put a lot of thought into how do we capture the kind of action that's happening uh, as expressed and uh, presented by by the 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 author of the whatever letter or, or book. Um, and then I could list other strengths for other other uh, other translations, and I've been really humbled by that process and thankful for the body of Christ. And so a lot of times, you know, my goal, I want to I be able to look at these different translations and say, you know, I, man, I really think the, the Holman Christian Standard nails it on the head here. And in that case, you know, my goal wouldn't be to create some kind of unique translation, but just simply to, to arbitrate in a way that makes sense to me based on what, what I understand as 
either the most effective way of communicating it or the clearest or more most accurate. And obviously I'm making decisions in that process, um, but that's just kind of the nature of translation. And so trying to ask for humility and grace to engage those perspectives well. Um, so the, the, the fruit that I'm hoping to see from it is simple, that people would fall in love with Jesus more, that, uh, that it would bear, uh, that it would just be a clear communication of the hope that, uh, you know, and more, and any, more than any other time in history, just having real clarity as to what we're, ho- we're, we're clinging to in the midst of great pressure and trials and difficulties. You know, I, I pray that, you know, somebody's reading the translation, just as I would pray for them reading any translation of the scriptures, that uh, they would be able to, to really engage the Lord and their hearts would come alive in it. And, um, and that, that I'd be able to, to phrases that need to be translated in a more dynamic way versus a more literal way or a more literal way versus a more dynamic way that, that there'd be, um, uh, that, that it would communicate, uh, no matter whichever direction you needed to go on a particular, uh, set of verses, but really that people would be able to stand before Jesus and that, that, uh, and that as, as a fruit of maybe engaging this translation along with other translations, um, that they'd be able to, uh, to, uh, to love the Lord more follow him wholeheartedly, have clarity about the gospel and, and to walk it out. Um, so, I mean, that's really, that's really the main goal.